I think it's really important to realize the global impact that hip hop culture has had and is currently having from its birthplace in the Bronx to today being one of, if not the main pillar of global pop culture. I mean, hip hop culture is the reason why people in Sweden wear sneakers to work or uh, wear their ball caps in a certain way or use words like diss and dope. And, you know, the hip hop nomenclature emanating from the United States has been, you know, incorporated in like almost every language, every major language around the world. Uh, I'm sure somebody in Barcelona, uh, Beijing, and you know uh, Borneo know what you mean if you say that you're, you know, you've been dissed or you're dissing them. Um, for me, growing up in Sweden, I firsthand could feel that the global impact of hip hop culture, as it at that time, in the end of the '80s and beginning of the '90s, was this very peripheral culture in New York City mainly. Uh, but how it affected us kids in Sweden was just incredible. Kids from all colors, creeds, classes, cultures, and backgrounds were attracted to this uh, new style of music, uh, this new style of dress, this new style of talking, of walking, of just being. Um, and on all six continents that I've been on, I've seen firsthand the global impact of hip hop culture. And it's just incredible to uh, reflect on that it actually stems from this creative spark that happened in a couple of neighborhoods in New York City uh, about 40 years ago.